Okay, we're back and let's see what happens in a system with a faulty metering device, a bad cap tube or fixed orifice that is not working properly. You can see our evaporator is changing state at a low 33 degrees. So we got low pressure in our evaporator. The condenser is condensing at 110 which is also low, so we're low on the high, we're low on the condenser side, the high side of the system. We're low on the evaporator side. Our subcooling is only 10 degrees. Our superheat is quite high. What is that? 25 degrees? High superheat. Let's see what our supply air looks like. Supply air is coming out at 75 degrees, our indoor air is holding at 85 it will not cool down and let's take a reading across the metering device cap tube differential ah look at that we have a three degree difference on our cap, cap tube so we have an issue see what kind of solutions it's going to give us. You know, it's inadequate cooling, that's for sure. We have low head pressure. We do have that. Let's see. Restricted cap tube. Let's hit OK and test. Measure the head and suction pressures. The temperature drop across the cap tube. The restricted cap tube will cause both head and suction pressure to be low. Although it's normal for a temperature drop to occur near the outlet of the cap tube where flashing occurs, if a drop occurs elsewhere, the tube is restricted. We're going to do a repair. I don't think I've... Okay. Turn the power on. And once again, we will see our pressure starting to come down. The temperature across the supply is a good 64 and dropping, dropping in temperature there. Our indoor temperature is dropping quack, quickly, quickly, <laughs> fast and quick, quack. We have about a 20 degree delta T. And the system is satisfied. That's what happens when you have 60 to 1 runtime. Very quickly cooled down. So we're good on that uh, scenario. And we'll do the next one soon.